Something I haven't seen with my language progress in Swedish is like me picking up habits that are like Swedish language related, but I'm also very curious to see do those exist? I'm assuming they do, but I just don't know what they would be yet because I didn't realize <laughs> that I have adopted a very, very big ASL habit until I was talking to my mom about cookies I made for Bible study and she's like, don't move your hands like that. And I was like, I didn't know it was that obvious. <laughs> and then I went and I did the same thing I told my mom I was going to do about the cookies and I moved my hands just like that. And I was like, oh my goodness, I know ASL. I was like, <laughs> and I didn't realize that I talk with my hands so much. Like I know I talk with my hands. I feel like I always have, but people who study ASL, like they talk with their hands so much, you guys, so much. And I've really noticed that I talk with my hands. Today at work, for example, somebody was taking a test and they didn't have headphones. And personally, like at work, you're supposed to tell them like you can't listen to the audio if you don't have headphones. But for me, I was like, the people who my the people who are superior to me, like the full timers, they're not saying anything. Um, and so I'm just gonna go tell them, hey, you know, can you turn it down a little bit because um, I don't want you to have to, I don't want you to get in trouble and have to put headphones in because you don't have any. So I was like, I'm just gonna ask him to lower the volume a little bit. So I went over there and I was like, hi, would you mind lowering the volume just a little? And I did that, I did. <laughs> I did the nose scrunch, the eyes, like I did all of it and the hand movement. I was like, oh my goodness, ASL is in my blood now. Like I, no matter how many years from now I am, I think I'm always going to be a very big talking with my hands person. Because I don't know if you've noticed in the past two minutes how many times I've talked with my hands and I've made gestures, but it's bad. It's bad. The facial expressions that I have struggled with in the past when using ASL to my deaf coworker, I do not struggle using those when I'm talking with my hands to people like with my mouth. I still haven't fully gotten used to like the motions and the eyebrows and everything like that talking to my deaf coworker, but I talk with my hands a lot and the facial expressions have definitely, definitely come out and I can't say that I'm upset about it. Now, if you ask my mother, she <laughs> thinks it's a little bit of a problem. Okay, it's a little bit of a problem, if you know what I'm saying. And um, I can't control it, mom. You can't change me. This is what happens when we spend money on ASL lessons, when I talk with my coworker, and when I become obsessed with the language of ASL. So, I talk with my hands a lot, and I just wanted to say that I have fully, fully adopted the ASL hand gestures, facial emotions. I'm very expressive now. <sighs> Things are coming to my TED talk. <laughs>